Good video games are those who carry a story that hit hot topics or leave a memorable impression on you. However, the best leave you questioning your entire outlook on real philosophical concepts. There's a fine line between overthinking everything and crafting beauty that is often crossed when a game takes itself seriously. In this day and age, social media and other various internet resources will let you know any and everything about video games hours after they hit the public market. Reviews will explode hype and boost multi-million sales or attempt to annihilate overly valued scores and knock on copious amounts of natural resources one must traverse through a journey. Perhaps that is why there's always a suspension of disbelief of some sorts when you pick up a game anymore, regardless of its age. When I set out to begin my series of exploring the positives of gaming, I first selected the well-praised Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4, half nervous that the first game I decided to flesh out positives for would be an absolute dud. I was also half scared I wouldn't be able to explain what it did right if it wasn't. What I stumbled into was anything but a dud. Persona 4 is a sheer masterpiece in character design that I ended up falling in love with for hundreds of hours. As with anything of this nature, I'll try to keep this video as spoiler free as I can, because I don't really want this to be a synopsis or a review, so much as it is more of a song of praise for the beautiful notes it gets. Right from the beginning, you were brought in the shoes of a mostly ambiguous young man who is known officially as Yu Narakami, as an exchange student staying with your uncle and cousin in the small rural town of Inaba. Initially, Persona 4 is deceivingly tame given what happens throughout. You attend Yazogami High School, joining various clubs and making friends as you would expect from somebody his age. What makes this game depart from the normal slice-of-life anime you'd see with a similar plot or manila modern JRPG absolutely blindsides you as a player, given you don't already know it's coming. Following a series of bizarre murders streamed from recent turmoil with a scandalous reporter and a young girl who discovered the mysteriously hung corpse of the aforementioned woman, a spooky rumor involving televisions and lovers leads to you and his friends to fall into a television world known as the Midnight Channel, and that's where the magic truly begins. Lead character designer Shinjori Sojima has so much to be thanked for the way this game truly shines. All of the playable characters are thought through in a very unique and engaging way. A common complaint in the RPG genre is that the magnitude of cast always leaves the majority of them to be rather one-dimensional characters, also known as the ultimate killer of any story. While a murder mystery wrapped around an RPG could create a potentially engaging plot on its own, no one character is wasted in their role of solving the crimes. This is driven so well because each level of the game is the innermost psyche of used classmates. Everyone has those thoughts or feelings in the back of their heads that they quickly repressed or denied forever, and the Midnight Channel does not hold any bars with brutally fleshing those out. These shadow cells of characters go on rampages in an attempt to satisfy their various desires at the expense of their own real self's demise. The more someone tries to deny their shadow, the more hostile and powerful they become, eventually unleashing monstrous creatures rich in symbolism. I found myself struggling through these brutal boss fights just so I could see these well-written characters accept their grimy parts and grow as people. I just knew that Mr. Sojima did such a great job making his characters because by the end game, even with only six characters to choose from to accompany me, each one had their own charm or bond established with me that made it legitimately draining on me to make a decision between who to leave behind and who to take. Overall, I found that character-driven storytelling is much more effective and way more rewarding than a mission kind of story that just asks the player to go from point X to Y. You get so caught up in watching young adults accept their insecurities and overcoming them with the assistance of their friends that you almost never notice you're making progress in catching the killer, which is the ultimate goal of the game. There are intense decisions to be made in the most climatic moments of the journey, and you'll not only have to fight with your instinct, but also the rational reasoning of your peers ever want to see the correct end. If it weren't for the internet, I guarantee I would have missed it. When the game reaches the end, it almost feels like the end of a terrific roller coaster ride and you can't help but to say, oh, is it over? When it all comes together, the topics Persona 4 cover really get you thinking. Is the truth you seek in life worth the pursuit? What do you do when you actually find what you've been looking for? Can you really accept it? What is truth anyways? What is your happiness? Is it genuine? As someone who is typically polarized by traditional RPG games, the highly stylish Persona 4 is one of the most beautifully crafted stories that has aged just as well as when it was fresh. If you enjoy writing or even respect how well media can be written, I implore you to invest time into this PS2 game and Vita re-release. While the story is a little bent to fit the ticket of the animation more, 
The anime carries most of the heart of the game and gives a quick fix to the memorable journey of Inaba. If you can't play the game, I highly recommend that you watch the anime. What is an aspect of a particular game that you always remember? What kind of games do you recommend? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or a share. I really appreciate it. Got anything else you want to suggest you particularly liked or didn't like? Let me know, please. Stay tuned for more videos soon by subscribing, and most importantly, please have a wonderful day. Thanks!